We're gonna upgrade to 095. I have an issue with this. Um, it's like the icon template. The errors keep showing up. They've been showing up for months now and I haven't gotten to fixing them, but I know in 096, it's a necessity. If I don't fix them, they won't start up. I think they're just in the power wall configuration. So I'm gonna go through, I'll just go through the, the YAML with you and show you how I'm gonna clear this up. I'm gonna use something called device classes to replace the icon template. But first, I have to upgrade this chair. Yesterday was prime day, I got a brand new chair. So I'm gonna upgrade the chair and then we will get into it. So that was super easy. I have a high back racing chair now. This is much more comfortable. Let's upgrade home assistant. Let's go into the computer. Hey everybody. Today we are going to fix, today we're gonna to fix my home assistant. We have a build failing right here. Um, if we switch over to my home assistant, we can see we've had this config warning for a couple months now. And I know for the next version, which can be 095, which I wanna to upgrade to, I have to solve these. So thankfully they're pretty easy. It looks like there's just this icon underscore template in my power wall, in my power wall configuration package. So I can just get rid of that. Um, so we're, that's what we're gonna do. We are going to remove our template icon and let's do a quick search for icon template across my directory, across my project. So it looks like this is the only, this is the only issue I have. If you look here, what this is, is this is a rest sensor. So this is a rest sensor that looks at my power wall. So I looked at the rest sensor documentation and I mean, when we set this up, there, there definitely was an icon template. It's no longer there. I looked all through the history of the files. I tried to really find where it was taken out or when it was taken out, if it was a breaking change that I would missed, but I couldn't find it. Uh, I went right to the source of the documentation. I looked through it. We see a bunch of changes, but we just don't see, uh, I don't see where it was taken out. I did find some other issues where people are also seeing this same issue and they're asking to have it be put back in. But I think this is going away. I think because we now have Lovelace, um, we're just gonna deprecate it. When you look through the rest sensors, we do have device class. So my plan, what my plan is, is my plan is to actually just go to device class and add in power and plug and some other things like that to offset. This is a power wall, so that's what we're going to do. So let's do this. Let me bring in, so we have this here. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna delete this and we're gonna do device class and I think for this one, this is the grid status. So this is this is if we're connected to the grid. So we're gonna say power for this one. So we're gonna do grid status power, and we're gonna look at our next defending one, which is the battery. So this is for charging and not charging. And we're gonna make that battery. So we're gonna make this one battery. That. Oh, this is actually battery capacity as well. So we're gonna take that. I don't wanna get rid of this. We're gonna make that device class battery. We're gonna log into Hass. So what this does is this is going to check the current configuration and the changes that I just made against the latest. And you can see we do we no longer have issues. We had a ton of issues earlier when I did a test and now we do not. So this is perfect. This is a great way to test your test for breaking breaking changes as well especially if you have your if you have your environment on github if you're sharing out your configuration this seems like a great test all right let's go ahead and let's upgrade and we're gonna upgrade everything i know frank has made comments that this makes him nervous but thankfully with docker we can just roll stuff back if necessary 
Looks like we are back up and running. We are now 954. We're gonna go to a quick overview. And this should just be the one Neato, yeah. So we still have this little issue with our Neato vacuum, but we'll solve that. But, so there we go. Now we have nice grid status true. We have a little grid, we have a little power icon, and we have our half power wall and our five kilowatts. I wonder if there's a way to, that'll always be super low because uh, this is only a 13 kilowatt hour battery. I can put, these are probably redundant. I can probably hide one of these and just get rid of it. But this is perfect. Hopefully this was useful for you guys. Uh, if you like Home Assistant stuff, make sure you subscribe, uh, like this video, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.